Hi there, Julianne Stevenson, paramedic, educator, and founder of Sterling Credentials. And today, another exciting episode of Am I the Jerk? EMS edition. Julianne, pulling the stretcher can be painful, especially when my partner is acting as an anchor. <laughs> Probably 70% of my partners suck at pushing the stretcher. Am I the jerk for noticing? What should I do? Uh, an aging medic. <laughs> No, you're not the jerk for noticing. Yes, this is a conversation we need to have. We all need to have it with our new partners. You know, when we're laying out expectations, like have your gloves on, on the way to the call, this kind of thing. Because honestly, in the educational arena, no, I, don't, I wouldn't say this probably is addressed as firmly as it should be. So step one, wrap yourself in the care and concern for your partner and their future injuries and begin. There's a lot of logic here. It's not just you being lazy. The shoulder is small and the muscles supporting it are small versus the person on the back is using their butt and their legs. So that person probably should be putting in like 80% of the power to move the stretcher forward where the person in the front is mostly just steering. Now, while you're on the topic, let's address not leaving your wingman. If you're responsible for one end of the stretcher, you stay at that end of the stretcher firmly attached or else there will be an incident and a lot of paperwork. If you have a question for Am I the Jerk EMS Edition, you can email it to hello at sterlingcredentials.com.